Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So in this video today, we're gonna be doing a back to school makeup look and it's super light, fresh, and young. I'm really excited to show you guys how to create this look. It's been a while since I've done a look like this. I graduated high school in 2013. I am 20 years old now and I turned 21 in October, but I remember in high school, I wore makeup every single day. There wasn't a day that I didn't wear makeup to school. Even on a sick day or a bad day, I always got up in the morning and I did my makeup, my hair, and I got ready for school. So if you are like me and you love doing that, that's great. I remember getting makeup shamed in school all the time. Just people would make comments about my makeup that I wore too much or that, you know, my foundation was too dark or there was just always something. I remember walking into class and people always had something to say and you know, High school is hard, so I feel for all of you that are going back to high school and I wish you the best of luck, but I also wanted to give you some advice. Never let anyone tell you how to be yourself or how to express yourself. If you love makeup and you wanna wake up and do it and wear makeup to school, you should do that. If that makes you feel good, I think you should do that. And I think that no one should tell you otherwise. And I know people in high school are so mean because I dealt with them every day. And I honestly really hated high school because of it, because I would get teased for my makeup, my hair extensions, my clothes, my style, just everything. So I know kids in high school can be super mean, but always just remember, you always just need to be yourself because that will make you the happiest. It really will. And if you like makeup, wear it. If you want to wear a crazy outfit to school, just wear it. But don't let these bullies mess with you and try to tell you that it's not okay because it is okay because that's your style and you're you. And I could keep going on forever about how you should do what you want to do. Wear makeup if you want to because I remember going to school with eyeliner out to here. Of course, I would hear stuff about it. I remember wearing extensions every single day. I had extensions all the way down to my waist and I'd clip them in every day because I loved long hair and that's just what I liked and that was just who I was and a lot of people wanted to tease me about it. Just remember during this school year when you're faced with that person that turns around in their chair in class and tries to make a comment about your makeup. You be confident and you tell them, I like my makeup and I'm gonna wear it however I want because that's what you should do. And always be confident in yourself, love yourself, and just embrace your individuality because that's all that really matters. So I'll be going back to school. You guys are brave, I believe in you. And today I'm gonna show you how to get this makeup look. I feel like it's so fresh and so young and I'm really excited to show you. So if you do like it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. And if you wanna know how to get this fresh back to school makeup look, then just keep on watching. For our face today, we're gonna go super, super light because I feel like those of you who are entering high school or those of you who are in high school, you can really just keep your face so light and so beautiful because you are so young. You really don't want to cover up that beautiful skin that you have. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go in with a concealer and we're going to spot correct any areas that really need it. Instead of just going to a foundation and covering up all of our skin, we're gonna let our skin breathe and feel super light throughout the day by just using a concealer. What I'm gonna do is I'm just taking the concealer and I'm gonna go in and I'm just going to spot this on areas that really, really need to be concealed. So now I'm gonna set my face with powder and when I was in high school, I never used powder and I always looked so oily and I always was not really sure why. I would use creams and foundations and I remember using these little oil blotting sheets by Neutrogena every period because my face would just get so oily. But if I could go back, I would totally use powder often. So if you are like me and you have oily skin, definitely set your face with powder instead of a foundation because that's gonna control your oil and the oil that comes out of your skin is not gonna be able to penetrate a powder as much as it would a foundation. So today I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder and this is an amazing drugstore powder. I'm just gonna go ahead and set my whole face. So we're gonna move on from the face right now and we're going to do our brows. And today I'm gonna to be using a brow gel because I feel like this would look super natural and be very easy for someone in high school to do every single day instead of having to fill them in or anything like that. You can just go in with a brow gel. This one's by L'Oreal and this is the Brow Stylist Plumber. This is really, really easy. You just go in and you just kind of slick your brows back. I don't have a lot of brows going on, so this is just gonna give me a little bit of volume as well. But if you do have a lot of brow hairs, this is gonna tame your brows. 
So now that we've got our super natural brows on, they're finished, we're gonna move on to eyes. And I'm gonna be using this Reblon Photo Ready Eye Art. And this is in the shade Topaz. So we're just gonna take the cream shadow and we're gonna go ahead and apply that to our lid first. So what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna go in and you're going to apply it to the lid. And this is a cream shadow, so you're gonna need to let it sit for a little bit. So we're gonna finish up the rest of the look while this dries. Really feel like this shade is so pretty for back to school because it's so natural looking. And you could wear this throughout the year, like not just for that first week of school. This is like a really nice everyday gold. It's a very neutral gold, so it's not too gold. It's really, really pretty. I'm gonna let this dry for a second and then we're going to probably blend this out with some shadow. So next I'm gonna take this bronzer here that I'm gonna be using a little bit later. This is the Glam Bronze by L'Oreal and this is in a medium shade. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and buff it into my crease to blend out that gold a little bit. So I'm just going in with that bronzer and it's a really natural brown color. And the great thing about this is you could use it on your eyes as well as your face. So it's like a multi-use bronzer. It's really pretty as an eyeshadow. I'm just going in blending that edge into the eyeshadow that we applied first on the lid. To give a nice natural bronzy, really just a really nice natural look. I'm gonna take this CoverGirl palette here. This is the CoverGirl True Naked Nudes. And I'm gonna take the lightest shade and go in and highlight this eye look. And this white shadow will really open up your eyes and make you look so much more awake. So next I'm gonna take the glitter on the other side of this little Revlon Eye Art tube. And I'm gonna apply the glitter right in the middle of my eye. So I'm just taking a little bit of the glitter and I'm just gonna apply this right in the center. So it gives a little bit of a sheen. It's very pretty and very natural looking glitter too. Just taking it right on the center of that lid. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with mascara because I wanted to keep this look so simple and so easy to do. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Mascara. This is the Lash Sensational Mascara in Black, and I'm just gonna go ahead and coat my lashes with this. All right, so going back to the face now, we're gonna be warming up our skin using the same bronzer that I used on my eyes, and this is by L'Oreal. This is a medium tone bronzer, so it's really gonna add a lot of warmth to your skin, and it's also really, really natural looking. It's absolutely gorgeous. Using this on a Real Techniques brush, this is just the multitask brush, and I'm gonna go in and just warm up my skin because I think bronzer is so amazing in so many ways. It just makes you look so tan and it's perfect for high school. It's just really natural to find the right one. This one's really nice. I also like to dust this onto my nose. Gives me a little bit of a tan and on my chin too. All right, so next I'm gonna add some blush and I'm gonna be using these two pinks right here from the e.l.f. blush palette. And this comes in light and dark. They're both really beautiful, but I'm using the light one today. And I'm just gonna mix these two shades together. I'm using a Real Techniques little dual fiber brush. And I'm just gonna go in and add some of that pink to my cheeks. It's a really nice natural shade. All right, so for highlight today, I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild highlight. This is the Fergie collection. And this is Center Stage Hollywood Boulevard. So it's a really pretty golden highlight and I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones and on my nose. But first I'm gonna spray my Real Techniques brush. This is just the smallest brush. I use it for highlighting and I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Spray. I'm just gonna spray it once or twice. You know how I am about setting sprays. I'm super crazy about them. I'm just dipping into this highlight and I'm gonna go in So pretty and natural and I feel like for back to school it looks so good with so many different looks but it looks really nice with this gold look that we have going on. I'm taking a little bit of that highlight on the back of my finger and I'm just going to apply it on the bridge of my nose just for a little highlight. And I'm also going to apply it on my cupid's bow. 
Alright, so now we're ready for lips. I'm gonna be using the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Sorbet, which is a really pretty peachy color, but I feel like would look good on so many different people. And for back to school, just lip gloss is so fresh. It just looks so good with just about anything. And this color is a really nice neutral peach. So lastly, I'm gonna set my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Spray. This is so affordable, amazing setting spray from the drugstore. So I definitely recommend it to you guys entering high school or if you are in high school, if you wanna control oil, keep your makeup on all day at school, try out this spray, it's amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face. I do a couple sprays. I'm, I'm a little crazy about setting spray, I'm not gonna lie, I love it. So I pretty much drench my face in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. Alright guys, this is my finished back to school makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love the way this makeup turned out because it's so light and fresh and it's perfect for someone that is going back to school. I used all drugstore products and the brushes I was using are super affordable and you can find them at the drugstore or at Ulta and sometimes at Walmart. So definitely check the bottom bar to get all your information on the products I used and the brushes I used as well. And if you did like this makeup look and it helped you and if you are going back to school, don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below and subscribe if you want to see it more.